was like, I'm not opposing anything. Why should I oppose anything? But the way G20 is, it's, a, it's an event for the whole country. But the BJP has hijacked it. They have to replace the logo with Lotus. The logo should have been something to do with the country, not with the party. And secondly, to tell you the truth, if you visit Kashmir today, you see the place which was already converted in an open air prison has been converted in Kotanapur today because even houses have been taken over, homes have been taken over, there is three, four, five times security. There are, you know, checkings going on, everything in the homes is being turned upside down. If you want, I have something in my phone which I can show you how they are going about the searches. My point is not about, you know, G20 being eligible. My point is that our problems are within the region. G20 may be something which may be doing some kind of publicity for the BJP party at the national and international level, but it is a SARC which will establish the leadership of our country within this region, address its problems. That is where the government has to take good vital forms and take an initiative. And uh, also uh, for that, it is being held hostage between the MOST of India and Pakistan. And Jammu Kashmir is at the basis of it. So they need to take the bull by the horn as Vajpayee did. He tried to resolve the Kashmir issue without compromising the sovereignty of the country or the integrity of Jammu and Kashmir. So that's what my point is that if we have to go so gaga about something, why not SAR? Why not have a SAR summit? and address the problems that we have. So that before becoming a wish guru, wish guru, we can become the guru of this region because the road to becoming the guru, wish guru leads to Sa and to the road to Sa leads to the Mohit Thank you. Thank you. So whatever is happening in the country because yesterday, uh, Congress did not invite many of the many parties, many political parties like Ahmadi party or the TRS or the uh, there is one that is a uh, uh, YSR Congress or Pinarai region for the matter. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that Congress is ready for that? For, for, to I, take on uh, I, I, think, if, I think this uh, Congress has played a you know, great role in the independence of this country, in building this country in the idea of India. Even uh, the state of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, its uh, accession to India had a lot to do with Jawaharlal Nehru's efforts. So the idea of India for the survival of India, idea of India, Congress has the biggest responsibility as compared to the other parties. So they will have to, you know, kind of uh, sacrifice more if they want to save this country and if they want to save the idea of India. There is no other way. Because they will still hope for the idea of India for this country to survive. And we, the people of Jokin Kashmir, uh, we needed it more than anybody else because we were, you know, the, the we, we became the first victims of this uh, fascist forces. We were, despite, you know, Jammu Kashmir being a Muslim majority state and despite all odds, having taken a decision to align with the idea of India when the whole subcontinent was burning with communal fires which were, you know, uh, kind of uh, spotted not only by Muslim groups who wanted a Muslim country but also with Hindu groups, Hindu Mahasabha and so and so we see their, you know, off the rails now who wanted a Hindu Rashtra at that point of time. But at that point of time, Jammu Kashmir, a Muslim majority state, decided to align with the idea of India, decided to align with a democratic India, with a secular India, with this hope that our identity, our rights, our life with dignity will be safeguarded here within the Union of India. And that was done, rightly so. And uh, we were given a special status, which was the best example of cooperative federalism, if you see anywhere, anywhere, not only within the country, within the world. 
I mean, Jammu Kashmir, a Muslim majority state, became the soul of Indian nation. And uh, but unfortunately, with the onslaught of uh, this uh, BJP government, 2019, we saw that the state was dismantled, it was dismembered, it was disempowered, and uh, unfortunately, the whole country including the political parties, except for a few which I don't want to name because then we will have a prime time debate tonight on the anti-national, you know, character of those parties who supported, you know, 370, article 370 at that point of time and were opposing its, you know, illegal, unconstitutional uh, scrapping abrogation. Thank you so much for coming at such a short notice. I'm sorry I know it's a Sunday, so it's a family time. Uh, but actually yesterday when I was, you know, uh, coming out of this very ceremony, I met many of the media persons who wanted my reaction, so I thought, you know, why not to have an interaction and uh, take your questions and tell something about, you know, why I'm here. Though, so, uh, a place like JK that keeps us busy, our hands are full. But still I thought I must come to Karnataka. Firstly to congratulate the people here who have given us a ray of hope. I think for the whole country. Mostly for the people of JK state. Because uh, we were the first and the worst ones to have been hit by the divisive and communal politics of the you know, present government and uh, Karnataka people have shown us the way that you know the might of power agencies institutions can be defeated with your vote in a democracy and I also thank them for bringing all the uh, most of the opposition parties who believe in the constitution of this country, who believe in the democratic values of this country, who believe in the secular culture of this country, who are all believe in the idea of India together and, uh, and celebrate uh, the, 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 you know, when we say India is the mother of democracy, uh, we, we celebrated that it was Karnataka that gave us a chance after a long time to do that. I know, uh, you know, I have been to Karnataka, I have lived here for more than a year, early 90s, so I know the people here are very nice. Uh, they are uh, very peace-loving, they are very secular, but uh, I think for the last five years, a lot of hatred and uh, communal and divisive politics has been, you know, uh, played here, which has uh, must have caused a lot of, you know, goons on the secular fabric of this place. So I'm sure that the Congress government, uh, along with Mr. Sitaramaya ji and Shukma ji, along with their, you know, uh, colleagues both the capital as well as the legislature will be able to leave the votes that have been inflated in the last five years. That has they have tried to you know tear the fabric of you know this society here. And uh, it has really been a very good experience because uh, everybody had somehow given up. is trying to portray to everybody to the whole world, including the whole country, that everything is fine after the revocation of 370. But let me tell you my experience. Uh, I have been the chief minister. My mother has been the wife of a home minister, wife of a uh, chief minister. My daughter. All our passports were confiscated. My mother had to fight for three years to get her passport. My daughter is still fighting. And I am also fighting. So you can well imagine if this can be done in the name of security to a family which has, uh, you know, joined mainstream politics. My father joined mainstream politics in 1959 when Kashmir was burning with the idea of self-determination. 
So if this can happen to a family like us, you can well imagine what must be being done to students, journalists, common people of Kashmir in the name of security. So this is just one example and I don't want to talk about you know, how agencies every day are harassing people, businessmen, everybody, how many people, how our youth are rotting in jails outside jails. I say rotting because nothing has been proved. There are no case hearings. The families are so poor they just can't even visit them. Not to talk about fighting their cases. If you tell the hearing, the witnesses are not present. So the, the process itself has become a punishment for all those families. So we are going through a very, very bad time and uh, Kashmiris are feeling more dedicated, but I appeal to the people of this country that we have exceeded with you. We have not exceeded with Hindu Mahasabha or BJP or with any communal party or with, for that matter, with the Muslim League. We did not choose Pakistan. We fought the invaders in 1947 without bare hands and decided to align with this great country. But today the people are leaving us alone and I would request all the opposition parties and as well as the people of this country, please reach out to people of Kashmir. You saw when Rahul Gandhi came to Kashmir, how people received him. Because people are feeling suffocated. They want someone, some leadership to come and listen to them. What is happening to them after 2019? How I hope the people of this country, I mean they are almost 60% who have voted against BJP. They are going to wake up and learn from what the people of Karnataka have done. I, I, I know that it was Rahul Gandhi uh, Yatra which laid the foundation for the results that we see today. But I think the people of Karnataka are to be complimented. I don't know any words to say because Everybody had given up and the kind of, you know, campaign, the ruling party, the BJP went about was, I mean, I have no words to express it and the very election commission was just watching, you know, I won't say helplessly, I will say with glee. They were not helpless at all, but uh, it was, it was something, you know, that was very, very, you know, uh, it was very, uh, I mean, I don't know, one girl was scared to see how, you know, everybody including right from the Prime Minister up to the, you know, governor who was using religion and everything, but as of the people of Karnataka, they were not taken in by this and uh, I hope now the new government will not only give good governance minus 40% commission but also new governance. And uh, that's why I came here and uh, I see a real hope and I got a chance to talk to Nitish Ji for some time as we were sitting together and I invited him that they should, you know, 